Yeah, g'day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about the Still E Super bar, guide bar, the light version. We can also talk about the uh, uh, solid uh, version as well. They're both solid, meaning that they're it's a solid piece of metal and they use a CNC machine to put the bar groove in there and the bar mount and they make a riveted uh, nose on both versions the light and the standard uh, version being solid bar is much better than the laminated bar now if we have a look at Samora and we'll just put a slide up there at the moment their version is a little bit different in their light bar uh, version compared to their uh, solid bar version. What they've done is made cutouts with a CNC lathe and backfilled those cutouts with epoxy resin to reduce the weight. Now, if you look at this Samura bar here, this is same thing, it's a solid bar and they use a CNC machine to put the bar groove in and the mount and it's got a uh, replaceable nose. The weight of this is 1,216 grams. Quite heavy. Now, back to the Steel roller matic The Steel roller matic ES comes in two versions. The standard just ES, which looks identical to this, but is 30% heavier. That's what still are saying. So 30% heavier is quite a fair bit if you consider that this weighs 922 grams. Yeah, so 922 grams. Now, the way that they achieve that on this is in the middle of the bar is all hollow. So to achieve that, what they need to do is get a CNC machine and hollow it all out. And you can see that line that goes all the way around. That's, that's the weld line. So after they hollow it out, they put a plate back over in the right position, sitting level, then it's welded in. So this is a hollow bar in the middle. So the only difference between this version and, and the fully solid version is that this has a hollow part right all in here and the weight is significantly reduced. So if you add 30%, uh, so... If we have a look at this, it weighs 922 grams. And if you say that this is 30% lighter, it would mean that the other version of the, the solid one would be 1,000, 1.2 kilos approximately. So that would be the difference. Now, when we look at the Still Farm Boss, this is a laminated bar, so it's a little bit lighter by about 100 grams. So rather than 1.2 kilograms, it's 1,100 grams. So this is definitely lighter, 300 grams lighter than... The solid bar. Now, solid bars are uh, more durable and the flexibility of them is better than uh, this type of bar or the Steel Farm Boss, which is a laminated bar. So laminated bars are three bits of metal and you can see where the little holes are. They are where the weld line is. So they're welded, spot welded together. Three bits of metal make up one bar. 
The solid bars are more expensive to make because they're all done by CNC lathe. And on the steel roller matic, you can see that you've got the nose bar in there. Why they call this light is sort of a little bit beyond me. I'm not too sure why they do, but it's 25 inch and it comes in at 1,365 grams. So getting near 1.4 kilo, so significantly heavy. Now, why do we use light bars and what's the main reason? Well, if you look at the still 500i, and that's only been out the last four years, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any chainsaw in the world. So for an 80cc saw, it puts out quite a lot of horsepower compared to anything else that's out there on the market. It's the only fuel injected uh, chainsaw as well. There's nothing worse than having a chainsaw that's only about 60 or 70 cc's and it's very heavy, which means it's got a very bad power to weight ratio. So the 500i is the only chainsaw in the world that's fuel injected, best power to weight ratio uh, uh, it's got out there. So therefore, that is the reason why I decided to buy a really top-notch bar for it. So even the Samura, Samura doesn't, is not as light as this in the same same uh, twenty inch bar. So apparently, the still Rollermatic ES, the light version, is the lightest on the market. Now, if you've got to use this chainsaw all day every day with a five hundred i, then it's better when you order the saw consider buying a light bar i wouldn't just rush out and buy one but if i was buying a new saw and you got the choice of a laminated bar laminated bar is not quite as heavy but solid bars are heavier than laminated bars and that's what they're saying with this one here that it's 30 percent lighter than the solid bar version Solid bars are very durable. They're much straighter because uh, they're a much higher quality bar if they're solid. And you'll find out there's a lot of solid bars that have hard nose on them. But this bar has the replaceable nose because that's where most of your wear is around this section here. Now, all around here. This bar here, as I said, this bar says that it's light. It's got light 05, but it's certainly not light at nearly 1.4 kilos. But I guess it's light compared to a solid bar. And you could imagine if you had a 40-inch or a 60-inch bar and it was solid, how many kilograms that that would weigh. It would be heavy as. So I could understand why a lot of companies out there are starting to make lighter weight bars not because you're soft or <laughs> as some people say that oh, what are you a sissy you need a light bar no nothing to do with being a sissy or anything else like that the whole idea of using a light bar is that if you're an arborist or somebody that spends a lot of time uh, if you're a professional and you're spending day after day, hours after hours, who wants to use a heavy light saw, light chainsaw with a heavy bar on it? And that's the option. And it's a look, it's a pretty good option too. The Samora are quite good. But uh, as I said, these things, even though that they're solid and it's, it's hollow in the middle, they're not as strong as a fully solid bar. So that's probably the only downside. But if you use it correctly, you shouldn't have any problems and you shouldn't bend it. I've never bent a chainsaw bar ever, and I don't think I ever would. But there's people out there that destroy anything. So there's people out there that should never use a chainsaw. Simple as that. I always look after all my equipment. And generally, if you look after your equipment, it looks after you. 
But if you do look at the weight of the farm boss, there's not a significant huge amount of weight loss, but that doesn't have a replaceable nose and it's heavier by 200 grams. So if you're buying a new saw, and even if I was to buy this saw again, if I was to go out and buy a 400 or a 462 or whatever in the steel range, I think that I would get a lightweight bar just to pay that bit extra, 40, 50% extra. The bar will give you many years of service, plus you've got the replaceable nose, so you've got the best of both worlds there. And that's my take on it. I think the, the light bars are great for people who use the saw day in, day out. For the home user, the weekend warrior, well, you wouldn't waste your money because let's face it, if you can't use a saw for an hour, then you probably shouldn't be using a chainsaw in the first place. But if you've got to use a chainsaw day in, day out, I'd I highly recommend the Samora in the lightweight version or the Steel Rollomatic ES in the lightweight version, or the Sugahari, that's another one, but I don't know the weight on them. One of the things that I dislike about when you start to get into this light bar scenario for all the different manufactured bars that are out there is that you do a bit of a, a search online and you can't even find what the weight of these... Look, I couldn't even tell you what the Samora bar weighs, the light version, as opposed to the heavy version. It's only that I measured that on the scale. That says it's 1,216 in the light version. I'd expect it to be significantly lighter by at least 200 grams. This is 300 grams lighter in exactly the same version... Uh, the Rollermatic ES, which is a solid bar. That's a solid bar too. So the solid bar version, you've got your light version and your uh, solid version that's not light. Then you've got this version here that they claim that it's light because it's a uh, it's three three bits of metal. It's laminated. The only thing that I can think of is the metal in the middle maybe a lighter higher quality grade metal so they call it light that's the only thing i'm thinking and if you were to buy that uh in a 25 inch bar in their standard whatever that could be uh you would find out that it's heavier than this so that's why they probably call it light the difference between laminated and solid so laminated is, is lighter than solid, and that is a light solid bar. So that's the difference. It's still a very high quality bar. Anyway, that's what it is. So just remember next time, if you're buying a new chainsaw, think about the lightweight uh, bars. You've got the lighter weight saws in the Pro Series, so all the Pro saws are much lighter than the homeowner saws. Don't be surprised in the future. The next thing is that they'll start offering lighter chain. You'll find out that the, the drive links and the tie straps could be made out of metal that is lighter, but you'll pay a lot extra for those as well. But that seems to be the tendency that if we're getting for lighter chainsaws, lighter bars, the next will be lighter chains. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.